press day out in Saudi Arabia for the biggest fight in boxing history and the heavyweight division in 25 years, actually. It's Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk are coming together for all the belts. It's not happened since Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield. And what, what's my lasting memory of the show? Big John Fury, the fighting man. He sticks the knot on some small skinny kid from Team Usyk, drops the knot straight on his face, face plants him, cuts his own head open, bruises the other kid and just makes a mockery of, of boxing and, and just disgust and disgrace the, the room. I mean, it's disgusting and disgraceful what he's done. He should be embarrassed. You're a I hope he's bum. embarrassed. But um, it's not acceptable. I don't know why he's done it. So you've got Team Usyk at one side of the room, all chanting Usyk, like you would do, because you're an Usyk fan and you want Usyk to win. You go back to being a two-bit nut, you bum! Shouting Fury, believe it or not. They, they like their man and they want their man to win. But nobody's running over, throwing punches and dropping headbutts on anybody. But no, big John Fury, the fighting man. 100 on the hard road. He wants to get involved, doesn't he? He wants, he wants his little piece of the action. So he's gone over, he's having a little push, and they're not even having a push, having a little walk, having a look, picking his spots. Typical big bully, isn't it? Picked on the smallest guy in there and dropped the nuts on him. But guess what? Calm as a bitch. He came off the word. You bum! You're a bum! You're a bum! You bum! Well, it's just, you know, at the end of the day, things do get said, don't they? But you can't say them to me. Because a lot of people out, let's get this straight, yeah. Let me tell you, when you're in John Fury's face and you're not ready to have a go and give it your best shot, I'm going to be all over you. You've just seen that. I don't care. Is this the most fired up John that you've... If I had a value, him, it would have been worse. Because if you were up for cutting the right hand and put him into the promised land, but at the end of the day, enough was enough. But at the end of the day, that's what it is. They come in my space, they're having it. I don't care about no man. No man born from his mother can get in my face and be cheeky. I've said that before. I don't care who you are. He got a big cut on his head, all claret down his face. What an idiot. How can you drop the nut on somebody? The guys go kiss and end up worse yourself. That's usually a devastating blow. That's a blow actually that sends you straight to jail usually. Should be getting arrested, should be getting done for assault. I don't know what's happening, but it's all being swept under the carpet and nobody's calling it out. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to call it out. John Fury is a disgrace. What he's doing is bringing boxing into disrepute. It's disgusting and terrible that people will be watching this fight, the biggest fight in years, and there'll be young kids and people trying to get into the sport and the attention it's bringing to, to boxing. You've got John Fury, a big idiot, headbutting somebody from the other team and thinking it's okay. Shouting on top of his voice, blood, guts and tears, this is what I do. I do this every day, this is what I live for. Blood and guts, this is what I live for. What are you talking about? I mean, you got banged up, didn't you, for gorging somebody's eye out years ago. You've not been in any trouble since then, which is good. Be peaceful, be nice, be kind. And then you go and lower the standards and let yourself and your family down and more importantly you let boxing down by dropping the nut on somebody from Team Usyk's team. Absolutely disgraceful. You should be embarrassed. So it's the start of fight week. One day this all kicked off. We've still got the press conference. We've still got the weigh-in. What's Big John Fury, the fighting man, going to do? Somebody lock him in the room and don't let him out of the room. Let me out, it's Big John. I want to fight someone. I mean, come on, John. No, I'm not talking to John. I'm telling people, I'm not going to go on a rant to John Fury. I went for this fucking shit. I went for blood, Scott Tanara. Blood, Scott Tanara. I went for this shit. I went for this shit. Listen, lock him up, keep him out of the way, or please, Turkey Owl Shake, Brick Top, somebody who's organising the event, get John Fury to simmer down, keep him out of the way. He's had his bit of limelight, he's had his fun, he's probably had a warning. If this kid decides not to do anything about it, that's fine. He's dodged a bullet there, John Fury, because you can't go around headbutting people. That's assault, and there'll be repercussions from that if somebody wants to do something about it. But he's obviously not. So let's just focus on the fight. The big fight is on Saturday night. 
and we want to get we want to get to the fight. We want to get this fight over the line. We want Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury in the ring fighting each other on Saturday night, and we're going to find out who the best heavyweight, who the unified heavyweight champion of the world is. Throw away the key. If you are going to let him in in the next press conference, or you're going to let him to the weigh-in, get him one of them cheers. What Hannibal Lecter had in Silence of the Lambs. You know, he's tied to the chair and he's got face gag on. He, he can't bloody, he can't say anything and he can't get out the chair. That's the best way he needs treatment. If you don't have him there, just cart it's him up, behavior. cart him off quietly. It's bad behavior because this big man, his father, it's not street fighter. This is this is like son, my friend, Stasian. It's a, Stasian is big, uh, big, big guy. Uh, big this is this is man. It's a big, big bad behavior. Basically, yesterday we know that Carl Froch has a little pop every now and then. Carl Froch is a bum, and he'll get what the little men get. <laughs> John, are you shocked by the amount of people that have gone against Tyson, especially in the UK? No, because no, the Brits do that. The Brits are traitors, aren't they? They're traitors, their king. But let me tell you something. Here's where our heart lies. Forget Great Britain. It's we, our heart, here, look, beating me body is in Saudi Arabia. Because we get threat like proper people, and how we, des how we deserve to be threat. Well, I feel like a king myself, and I'm a bum. And I'm a bum. You're a bum. That can only make me feel like I feel in Saudi Arabia. Britain has never made me feel well. They couldn't get behind bum. the champion, but they're the ones who are going to miss out them. Nobody John, else. Do you think your son only returns to box in Saudi Arabia? Only before? in Saudi Arabia. John, John. Tyson Fury and the Fury family only fight again in Saudi Arabia. This is where our art is. We love it. The people love us. Long live Saudi Arabia! I'm big up to Turkey, I'll say! Carl thinks it's disgrace, the the what he did was, uh, was disgraceful. Simon Jordan thinks it was thuggish. What, what do you want to say in regards to response you might Do you know them people? They're not worth even mentioning. To me, they're only small guys in a big pond. You know, he's done what he's done. You know, credit to him for what he's doing, but it's all right to slate me. But come and do it, as close to me as you are. Come and do it then. Come and slate me, stand where you are and slate me. Let's see if they can do that. They all talk behind this 200 mile away, but they won't face the big JF face to face. If they do, they're stupid men, because that is where the last stand will be for them. I don't care who they are. I'm the, I'm the king of the bare knuckle men, and I can't be beat on them streets, not by a 12 stone man, and not by an heavyweight. And that's been said by John Fury. I've been the king of the world. So I must be some good myself, must I? I want to take this opportunity to apologise on behalf of the boxing world to the Saudi royal family and to the people of Saudi Arabia who have welcomed the Fury family into their wonderful country. I will take great pleasure in smashing this man to bits if he ever has the courage to climb into the boxing ring with me. The world wants to see manners put on this man and I am the man to do that. The weak of your son's biggest fight of his life, John, and you conduct yourself like this. If you're not going to conduct yourself properly and behave as an ambassador for the greatest sport in the world, crawl back into the rodent hole that you came out of. This whole set of affairs with John Fury yesterday, Simon, I mean, at the top of the, the show, you said it happened, it's boxing. Things like this happen because of the individuals in the sport. Yeah. Um, there's one message. Can't believe what I'm hearing here. Uh, just go around headbutting people is fine, is it? No, not really. It's thuggish behaviour. John Fury's, I mean, is boorish, thuggish, thuggish, unedifying, unpalatable, uncouth, vulgar behaviour. Absolutely. But what do you expect from John Fury? What, I, I think mean, John Fury's due, been in prison for gouging someone's eyes out. What did you expect him to do? Convert into a Samaritan? Is it a nice look? No. Was it a nice look over the years in boxing about so many things? This ridiculous sentimentalising of society and expecting everyone to behave in their best version of themselves. No, it's not a great look, but so what? So what? Is it that big a deal? We're in a country where people get sent back in boxes because they've been bone sawed. What are we talking about here? Are we, we going to get up on this high horse of ours and suggest that it's so appalling that everybody needs to apologise? Aren't the aren't the Usyk camp the same people that accuse Fury of cutting himself to avoid the fight? Things get said, but wait things a minute, get done. This cannot be allowed to go unchecked, can it? By whom? Who's who's going to check it? But, well, but, but, but by people like ourselves, by by the boxing public, by people who use social media, by people who want to be judged by no, their own but, standards. But nobody's, nobody's, is there anybody that you've met that thinks that's good? Because I don't. Everybody thinks it's thuggish, 
boorish, horrible, uncouth, and unedifying. Happen. But that's the Fury game. I mean, should the, sh- that's what they are. Is there an element here? Should the Saudis maybe have taken a couple of members of Tyson's camp aside and said, he needs to behave or he's in a flight home? Well, fine. They're not going to do that, are they? What, Fury? John Fury? Mm. Well... Perhaps and perhaps they did say something. You can't legislate them for the behaviour of 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 John Fury and 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 his son. It's all it's 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 the it's the spirit they want to engender. It's the culture they want to create. All of these wonderful people that turn around and say how much they admire Tyson Fury wouldn't want him living next door to them. As a boxer, he's a brilliant boxer. As a human being, I think we've seen aspects from Tyson over the last twelve months that I think show him to be quite unpalatable. What would you have done yesterday? You and I are not out there because the Furies don't fancy speaking to us at the moment. Fine. What would you have done yesterday if you were standing in that group there and John Fury catches a glimpse of Simon Jordan and thinks what they think, that you've been overcritical of his son, comes up and gives you one in the face? Oh, get him nicked. <laughs> well, that's very, the very point. And there's John, who's a Tottenham fan. Shouldn't boxers uh, support... T- should they not be held to higher standards? But he's not a boxer. There's James, an Arsenal fan. Simon, I normally agree with everything you say, but this is assault. Yeah, but, well, In any other walk okay. of life, you'd be arrested. So, you could, so basically, I'm shocked and horrified beyond all recognition. No, I'm not. I think it's crap. I think it's garbage. But there's an element of, of the Furies that I think are crap and garbage anyway. So I'm not surprised by it. Do I think Fury's the best fighter in the world? Yes, I do. But that's do I think to he do should be it. admired? Yeah, but you're, what you're saying that's is nothing. To, doesn't matter if you think or anybody thinks Fury's no, the got, best fighter in the balance. world. There's you've no, got, no. The, you've got to but balance. you just said there should, should should what the father do be reflected on what the son says or does? The well, answer to that is no. Well, then what you're going on about? Then? So what you te- why are you telling us that Fury? Is he the best because fighter in the world? That's totally unrelated to what com- John Fury did yesterday. Com- well, John Fury is an incidental. He's academic. So we cast a blind eye to it? No, he's a thuggish outlook in that instance. His behaviour is unacceptable. He makes himself look like a fool. Does it need Frank Warren to step forward yesterday and say, I've, oh, had, yeah. a, I've had a word with John Fury. Um, Go on, he, 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 He's ashamed of what he did. Does it not need someone to call it out for what it is? But people are calling out for what it is. Um, but the reality of it is, is that John Fury's behaviour is being universally condemned by everybody as unacceptable. It's unacceptable. But what is it you want to have done here? So he goes unpunished. What can you punish him with? Mm. Mm. I, well, assault for a start. Well, that's, that's not up to the, us. That's up to the fella. The, there's the a, fella a, wants a to whole press bunch charges. of messages coming in. People are genuinely surprised that uh, uh, you're taking it. Simon's watching down the severity of what John Fury's done here. It's no, completely not. unacceptable. No, I'm not. If I approached someone on holiday in Saudi and went up and headbutted them, I'd be locked up for Fine. goodness knows how long. But it depends if you want to press charges. Mm. So if the fella wants to press charges, because I'm sure he was an innocent victim, I'm sure he had nothing to say and wasn't being antagonistic, I'm sure, and I know that people are saying, didn't do it with a big fella. But... John Fury, just because he's Tyson's dad, can go wandering in amongst a bunch of Ukrainians and not one of them. No, but John, but John Fury rocking around in the media, dawn till dusk as some spectacle, shouldn't be in the media because he ain't got any merit for being in the media, but everyone has him in there because he's good value. And the reasons why he's you good value... You just said you love his cool commentary. And the reason why he's good value... No, I think he's a good co-commentator. Yeah. But, but, but predominantly, we have John Fury on the show not for his commentary because he's Tyson Fury's dad. Mm. That's why he's on the show. So now we don't want to have John Fury on the show because he's Tyson Fury's dad. No, we don't have him on the show at the moment because he doesn't speak well, to us. Well, that's a different subject. That's yeah. a different dynamic. That's but fine to, by but, us. But we are now suggesting that he shouldn't get away with it because he's Tyson Fury's dad. But the only reason he's in the media full stop is because he's Tyson Fury's dad. Make our minds up. Is it just all part want? of boxing? No, it's a horrible part of boxing. Yeah. <laughs> They say that maybe Tyson's uh, not good with small movers. Do you agree with that? Yeah, that's something that Tony Bell you said in it. Yeah, you see Tony Bell, he'll get a net butt like he's just got to come throw me. Very bizarre. I don't know why my name's being mentioned there. And listen, mate, no one's going to air butt me, full stop. But I don't know why my name's being mentioned there. Why, what, what was the question he got asked, or what did he say? I think he was asking him questions about how the fight will go. And then he was saying that you said it will go a certain way. Yeah, I've got maybe predictions. That's what I'm paid to do. I'm a paid analyst live on the zone. Uh, and, and I'll make whatever prediction I want. I don't fear no man, mate, and no man's going to put it on me. You understand this for every action, there's a reaction. And, um, you know, it was very bizarre watching that yesterday, to be honest, because there's one guy going head to head with him who's the same size as him, and he's rubbing his head back. He didn't feel the need to headbutt him, but he felt the need to headbutt the smallest child in the 
Just a quick one, Tone, before we move on from that. Do you think it's a good thing for boxing? No, it's not. It's embarrassing. If my father behaved like that at a press conference, I would put him straight and tell him. It's embarrassing, and it can't be happening. Mate. It's a really bad look for boxing. I'm actually surprised it's been allowed to go on and happen in a place where they're at, to be honest. Uh, but it is what it is, mate. It's easy to walk and talk and liability. And understand me not everyone's going to put up with that he said he said if you go out there and he sees you he'll headbutt you so the the next time that you see each other you know there's going to be tension right what will happen Andy, no one's going to put me mate no one's going to do anything to me and like i said for every action there's a reaction so i, I don't call i don't need to call out john fury mate i've achieved more within 60 seconds of my boxing career than john fury's ever achieved in his life he could not even be spoken about in the same breath as me. Now, I never big myself up, ever. But when it comes and competes and compares to the likes of John Fiore, listen, mate, just because something shot out of your nuts and became one of the greatest heavyweights in this world, it does not mean you can validate your opinion on every other fighter possible. You have not got the first clue or idea what it's like to be a championship-minded fighter. You got your ass absolutely handed to you off Henry Akin one day. Now, get a grip of yourself. Now, I'm trying to be as nice and respectful as I can, but he just needs to keep my name out of his mouth because it's got absolutely nothing. I don't fear any man whatsoever. And he, that I include him in that. Hey, sons, I'm the king of the bear, little man. Yo. I do fight Mike Tyson to death. Hey, There's no hey, great hey, place hey, I can fight. Hey, I love hey, you. Hey, no, hey, I love hey, you, hey, so. You're a bum. 